Let's go to uh, the phone lines first, though. Carl from Pennsylvania, Carl, you're live, line one. Hey, John, sorry to bother you while you're at work, but um, <laughs> I wanted to talk about uh, Fanny and the judge. To be honest, I think the judge is just going to let her roll. I, I don't think she's going to be held accountable, and I hate to be a naysayer, but I have absolutely no faith, zero faith, in our justice system. The way they're railroad- railroading Trump, uh, it just makes me sick. Um, and the other point is you really need to get Ken Matthews on your radio stations, man. He was big out here in Pittsburgh, and he used to fill in for Rush uh, a lot. And what happened to him, he got kind of a raw deal. And I think he'd be a great asset to your radio station. Don't know him. If you've got his, uh, his contact inf- information, you can call Derek, give it to him. I don't know him. I never, I never heard of him. So not okay. much I can yeah, do. Yeah, he's... He used to be a guest host for Rush, and uh, he basically got syndicated, and he was reading some of the Hunter Biden laptop stuff to his producer, and it accidentally went live on air, and they canned him after that. So, don't know anything about him. I don't, I'm not familiar with him. So, Carl, awesome. I don't know one way or the other. So thank you. Are you in Pittsburgh, Great. Carl? I'm not. I'm in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and you really need to bring that mega, mega bus tour uh, to Ringer's Roost in Allentown, right across uh, the fairgrounds. You know fair what? Grounds. I want you to uh, stay on the line. Uh, Derek's going to get sure. your phone number. We're going to give that to Christine because uh, you're the second person that has mentioned uh, Allentown in that particular location. So it kind of went uh, by the by the you know off our radar screen. Give your phone number to DC. DC, send it to Christine. Tell her we want to get the bus to this location in Allentown, and we'll get that done in April, okay? Carl? Awesome. Done. Sounds then like Then I can meet you there. But you got, you got to give your number to D.C. so he can give it to Chris, Christine, because I won't remember we'll do. to do it. All right? All right, buddy. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, man. Have a great weekend. You're on the John Fredericks Media Network. As far as, Carl, as far as uh, this judge doing nothing with Fannie Willis, I don't think he can. I don't, I don't think he can do that. I think the facts here are so disturbing at what she's done. And then her attitude. I mean, her hubris is incredible. I mean, the arrogance of this lady. Like, screw you, I can do what I want. I pay cash. It's kind of unbelievable. So I think the uh, risk the judge has here, if he does nothing, the whole justice system comes under question. I think he's got to get, I, I predict he gets rid of the two of them. They start over, and that's basically the end of the case. I don't think this judge has a choice. If you want to be a serious judge, there's no way that he could just sweep this under the carpet. Not, not now that it's gone public and uh, it's been streamed and it's going to go on again today. There's just no way he can say, oh, well, you know, no harm, no, no foul. Not going to happen. Nicole Tsai joining us now, senior spokeswoman for the uh, new federal state of China. Nicole, thanks for being with us um, on short notice. I wanted to get you on today. Because I want to, I want an update. What happened here? There's a mysterious death of Angela Chow. She is the sister of Mitch McConnell's sister-in-law, and uh, and 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 Secretary Elaine Chow's sister, uh, who is um, who is of course McConnell's wife. So McConnell's married to Elaine Chow, who was the Transportation Secretary under Trump. You got Mitch McConnell, majority leader, mm-hmm. big power couple. And then uh, Angela Chow, uh, who's McConnell's sister-in-law, dies. What is, uh, what is up with this? Well, good morning, John. Thanks so much for having me. So I've been following the story because Angela Chow is a very prominent public figure. Uh, she's, like you said, she's the sister-in-law of the, Senate, uh, 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 the senior senator, Mitch McConnell, and she's the younger sister of Elaine Chow, the former Secretary of Transportation. And she mysteriously died on the U.S. soil and without, but there's no details uh, about what caused her, her death. And strangely, it's the CCP's propaganda that first broke the story on February 12th. On, Feb- on Feb- February 12th, the CCP's prominent propaganda media, Taishin, which is controlled by the former CCP Vice President Wang Qishan, they broke the story with details. They said Angela Chow was killed in a car accident, uh, and, and 
according to Beijing, uh, there was a truck uh, run over a red light and killed Angela Chow. And this driver was was driving under influence, and he was arrested. So, so that's the details that we first heard from the CCP propaganda. The CCP is controlled uh, media. Then a couple of days later, the U.S. media started to provide pro- provide more details. So, according to the latest latest report by the USA Today, Angela Chow drowned herself in a Tesla car in a private Texas ranch in a rural area. So she was underwater in her own car, and it was on a private ranch property. And then the sheriff did not want to uh, provide more details as to whose property is this and how come she ended up being in the private property and drowned herself in her own car. So there's a investigation going on. Uh, but listen, we have seen how the CCP murdered um, important people who have access or exclusive knowledge uh, to the inner workings of their either finance or politics. And um, the CCP has also attempted assassinations against prominent dissidents on the U.S. soil. So I cannot rule out the possibility that Angela Chow's death is caused by a CCP's ulterior motive. And so we just have to pay close attention because we know that Angela Chow's husband, Jim Breyer, uh, he recently said in the Davos meeting that he's going to stop investing in CCP country uh, for 18 months. And uh, Mr. Breyer, he is a prominent venture capitalist and he's been investing a lot into the ccp country and so as soon as he started saying that he's not gonna invest in ccp country now we heard the sad news about angela child's death so um i don't want to be a conspiracy theorist but there's no no accident when it comes to anything related to the ccp so that is very suspicious. So let me get this straight. So Angela Chow, the sister-in-law of Mitch McConnell, the, the younger sister of Elaine Chow, wife of Mitch McConnell, former Secretary of Transportation in the Trump administration. So we find out that uh, it was first reported when Angela Chow died, the CCP reported she got hit by a truck and the guy was drunk, right? So how do you go? I mean, just let me ask you this. I mean, this is just a simple question. I'm a layman, right? I'm just a radio talk show host. But how do you draw a line between I died in a car accident, hit by a truck and the guy was drunk, to I died underwater in my Tesla on a ranch in Texas and I just drove it underwater and my battery went dead and I couldn't get out? How do you get hit? How, how do you go from getting hit by a truck to drowning in a lake in your Tesla? Like, how, how does that make that connection for us? I mean, I'm not. I, I, I'm sad about her death, so I'm I'm not, I'm not making light of it. But I'm just like, how, how do you go from I got hit by a truck by a drunk truck driver in the U.S. to I drove my car, my Tesla, into a lake and drowned? Like, how, how does that how does that work? Well, I'm equally as confused as you were. Um, first of all, I, I, I want to send my condolences to Senator Mitch McConnell and Elaine Chow and for their tragic loss. I mean, Angela Chow is very young. She's only 50 years old. And, and, and so let's not take how, lightly. How old, uh, how, old, how old is she? 50, five zero. She's only okay. 50 years old. And she's very bright. Yeah, I, she, st- she's sidebar. A- I love the fact yes. that you said 50 is very young. I love that. I'm gonna, <laughs> we, and, and you're also I'm gonna, very I'm gonna be young. 60, I'm going to be 66 <laughs> in, in, let's see, uh, how many weeks? Three. I'm going to be 66 in less than a month. So the fact that you said that 50 is very young, I like that. But go ahead. 
So you're uh, you're still in your youth, okay? Because fifty <laughs> is very young, and so sixty six is is like a youth. It's you're in your prime time. So, so Angela Chow, uh, she is a prominent public figure, and as we would expect from the U.S. media reporting about any car accident or tragic events involving a prominent public figure. We would know, uh, you know, quickly about what happened, who's involved, and when and where. But strangely, the, all the U.S. mainstream media kept quiet for three days. And but the details about Angela's death was first reported by the CCP state-run media, and it's all over place in the Chinese language media world. And now we heard two very different stories about what happened. The CCP media said she was killed by a drunk truck driver in Austin, Texas, and the U.S. media finally said, "Okay, according to the sheriffs uh, in Blanco County, Texas, Angela Zhao drowned herself in her own car in a private ranch." And so, I I'm very I I, I think this sounds very very suspicious because Angela Zhao she is. A CEO of a major international shipping company, with 70% of their business、uh, relying in China. So basically, they help、uh, send shipments to communist China, and their shipbuilding was also relying on the CCP government provided the loans or subsidies. So,、um, I mean, it, it's their family business. But as soon as they start showing unwillingness to comply or cooperate with the CCP, then the tragic event happens. So I'm American, and Angela Chow is American. I mourn for her loss, and I I urge、um, deep investigation into the real cause of her death, because this is a very blatant.、Uh, if it's A murder, then it shows that none of the U.S. people living in this country is safe. Because Xi Jinping, if they want to silence you, they can assassinate or or create a、uh, you know a tragic event like car accident. Because in China, that's how Xi Jinping has disappeared. Billionaires and、um, there's the former CEO and chairman of HNA, which is a multi-billion-dollar company. Uh, this this gentleman was like a, you know killed himself according to the CCP media from falling from the cliff while taking a selfie photo. I mean, there are many strange reasons being offered by the CCP media for the、uh, for the reasons of, of death of many billionaires or prominent public fi-、uh, figures. And why does CCP? Uh, tens of thousands of miles away. Why they're、uh, they're the first one to report Angela's child's death? It sounds very fishy. Could she have been the woman who knew too much? Yes, exactly, because she is the independent board member of Bank of China, which is the CCP's largest state-owned bank, worth seventy-three billion dollars. And、lame? that's why, John, we we have been saying decouple from the CCP, or you will be killed by it. And that's the important message we should be emphasizing again and again: decouple CCP, or to be killed by it.